Hey everyone, SwanFox here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick review slash guide for the Shadowmoon Valley bonus objectives. Now there's only five or six of them. You can see them on the mini-map with uh, their cross swords and uh, buckler. We're going to start off on the one next to the garrison and then move our way south. This one's pretty straightforward. It's the cave. Uh, you just got to click these little mushrooms and the vial will fill up right in the middle of your screen. You get like one or two points per mushroom. You gotta kill these pale guys, and I think there's uh, a boss or two. Uh, also should note that there is a quest at the start of this, uh, just outside the cave that has you go in here. And there's also another quest to kill a wasp stinger hornet thing right above uh, the cave, which the entrance to that is way off to the to the left there, so don't don't think it's in the cave because it's not. <laughs> I made that mistake. Just to make this video just a wee bit shorter, I am going to just fast forward through the parts. I mean, you guys don't need to see me collecting every goddamn mushroom and uh, killing every goddamn monster. Plus, the travel time, just walking since you can't fly, is ridiculous. The raw footage for this video is like 40 minutes long, <laughs> which would probably take you you know close to that, maybe less. I recommend doing it later, but you can also use these to get the little extra oomph of XP in case you didn't get enough from questing or killing monsters or crafting resources. Hey guys, um, on to the next area. You gotta, there's three different parts. You gotta kill orc spirits, uh, void priests, and uh, ghost elix. The first two aren't that bad. The void priests and orc spirits are kind of all over the place. You shouldn't have any problem killing them. But the phantom pearl tusks, those are more south. Uh, and they come in packs of three, so it shouldn't be very hard. Just a little tip. There is peace offerings near the stones. Uh, they got like 10, 15 gold in them, uh, and just give you a little debuff. Don't worry about it. It's 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 a good way to get a little extra cash while you're questing. Alright guys, on to the next area, the Hills of Valoon. 
Now, you probably won't enter this area when you're questing, so you probably haven't done this side objective, but it's pretty easy. Uh, you gotta pick up uh, 14 iridescent eggs. Um, those are just scattered throughout the area. It's pretty easy to, to find them. Uh, and then you gotta kill uh, the arcane anomalies. Those are randomly throughout the area. That's not too bad. The netherbinder uh, orca, though, is a little tricky. She's guarded by like two or three anomalies, so just be careful when you're going after her. Also, there is a treasure in this area, uh, a sword. So just uh, keep in mind that. I'll, I'll slow the video down for, for that area just so you guys can see where it is. Might as well grab it while you're here. Alright, sword's up here. It's also kind of guarded by a rare. Uh, it's it's literally just like a hundred gold vendor item sword, but, you know, money's money. Uh, as you can see, an, an, another dwarf uh, is fighting this guy right now, but it's uh, just a sword in the snow, uh, in the stone, King Arthur style. Yep, you can see it right there. Just grab it, and then you're all good. All right, totally got the names confused. This is the Hills of Valoon. The last place was the Shimmerborn. I'm an idiot, but that's not the point. <laughs> uh, you gotta kill uh, those like lizard stalker things. You gotta kill like 14 of those, and you gotta kill uh, the Kalari here. Now the Kalari aren't too hard to find if you if you follow what I did. Uh, look for rocky outcrops. They, they love that. Now, the stalkers, on the other hand, are really spread thin. There's only you know, one or two in one spot. So, But they're always near trees. So just look for uh, uh, trees and stuff, and you, you should be able to find the, the stalkers without a problem. It might take you a little bit because it's such a huge area. By the way, a great place to farm for elk meat. Just putting that out there.
all right, we just need this last uh, <clears throat> last stalker kill, and then we're all good. And then you get your achievement. Shoot for the moon. All right. I hope this uh, guide helped you guys. I'll be making one for each one of the areas, and eventually tan and jungle, assuming that they actually have quests and stuff in that area. All right. Please like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out the rest of the other WoW videos.